What about the question of happiness? You bring that up. Yeah. So Julie's philosophy oh. on finding happiness. Um, yeah. So I'm a, I've followed, um, for those of you who are in interested in this whole field, um, I actually took one of the very first virtual courses with Martin Seligman, who was the father of positive psychology and who wrote the book Authentic Happiness, probably maybe like 18 years ago, followed it up with a book called Flourish. But he and um, really a global network of researchers in psychology and other fields have been studying this whole issue of what is happiness and how do we define it. And it's morphed over the years into understanding like what are the components of well-being for humans. And they've identified at this point, you know, five major components um, that include positive emotion, engagement, really being able to like sink ourselves into something that's fully um, engaging to us, positive relationships, a sense of meaning, and a sense of accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And in any one of those areas, there's tons of research about like what are the implications of this and what are the subtleties and nuances of it. But I'll give you an example. Um, so a positive emotion, we sort of take for granted, it's like, well, it feels good, you know, it feels great to get a massage or it feels great to hang out with your friends and laugh. But what we also know is that when we're in a, when we're in a state of positive emotion, we think differently. We, we think more creatively, we problem solve more effectively, we see past differences in, you know, color, race, ethnic background, gender, whatever. Um, we're able to see the bigger picture and solve more complex problems when we're in a state of positive emotion. And so if you take the burned out professional who's not getting enough sleep, who's not exercising, who's not, you know, giving him or herself enough of what she needs, you don't see a picture of somebody who's, who's able to do all those things. Right. Yeah. And so there's a huge connection between, you know, taking care of ourselves and understanding how the way that we think and feel affects our body and vice versa and good leadership. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cannot separate the two. That's why our, you know, part of our philosophy is that we are human at work and we need to understand how we function as humans when we're in the workplace and certainly when we're in a leadership position because right. that affects everyone around us.